March 25th, 1821, bitch. Hell what do you yeah. think about that, dude? Yeah, Greek you and Ottoman's day. <laughs> Suck this dick, you Ottoman cocksuckers. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that one guy who sucks is your president now. Yeah, you remember, you remember not Gulen. Remember Greg, Greg <laughs> Bahanish? Huh? Greg Bahanish. I was thinking about Ottomans, the piece of furniture, but Greg Bahanish in his classic bit. Yeah, I'm I'm from uh, all over the place. My feet are from Iran. My underarms are from Pittsburgh. Oh God! And he's like, "Well, they got." I was confused in an ottoman <laughs> with a futon because I thought you're supposed to put your foot on it. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! Dude, I fucking Christ. I love Bahana so much. I don't know Bahana. Is he from Baltimore? Who is that? Is he like a yeah, DC yeah? Guy? He was like a DC Baltimore guy huh. that 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 fucking. Uh, he was like 47 years old. He was like one of those guys that's like got that like, like one of those guys that probably graduated high school in like 82, 83, uh-huh. you know, like, uh, uh, like the Trans Am mustache, right, spiky right, right. hair, you know, vest kind of guys. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. Hell yeah, The guy man. Billy Madison fucking dr- is drink, he, drinking beers, cool. just drinking beers, talking to girls, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and like the girls are always like. Horribly disproportioned with giant tits and a boy's ass, you know, <laughs> feathered hair. Like those. I remember one time he was just getting his like dick sucked by some like middle aged woman in his fucking like 87 Dodge Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> in, in like the parking lot of Felicitas. He's like, oh, oh, hold on, I gotta go do something real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a man. Dude. Yeah, dude. Like, that's a real red blooded like American. 16 hanging out with that guy? Yeah, yeah, dude. Greg Mahanish ruled. I don't remember. Yeah. He was so funny. He was just always high. Nice. He was always just high as shit. Fucking like, yeah, man. Hey, brother. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love white guys that say had, brother he, he, without he, that. Right. Without he, had a, like, he had a mustache racism. before there was like any kind of like ironic mustache. Right. Of that, course. That, you know, this was like 12, That's just how his face 12 came. years ago. So it was like having like a mustache then was like you were somebody's uncle. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. You either were someone's uncle Flanders or gay or, gay or literally yeah. gay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure Greg Bahanish got his dick sucked like in front of us in his like 1988 Chrysler Dynasty. Hell yeah. His Dodge Dynasty. Hell fucking What do you mean you're pretty sure? I like he just had some old just disgusting woman with him and he's like I'll see you guys later <laughs> he's like 10 feet away <laughs> he just like went in the car in and that they, parking lot yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. and then they just came out yeah that's awesome that guy was a fucking trip I, never, I don't know him you know what I'm no, no, no. Yeah, he just was such a bad comedian. But he was like one of those guys that like probably graduated high school in like 1982. And he's like, got the haircut, got the mustache, got the fucking bomber jacket, dude. Yeah. This is the look. This guy a looking top. Yeah, yeah. Keep it going forever, brother. Hell you yeah. know? Um, Van Halen. Yeah, just like one of those like just early 80s Here teen guys. Here we go guys, again you know? getting hit. Yeah, like crew cut. Yeah, fucking, yeah. Fun. You know, cleaning his car on the driveway constantly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that weird yeah. era of like chill bros. Remember yeah. it was mm-hmm. like a mustache bro, but they were chill. They were chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. really were chill. Yeah, yeah. And they'd, te- they'd be like, they'd like fucking give you a noogie and that was it. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? There was yeah, no yeah. like... Although I guess those guys probably did hate crimes too. Yeah, they probably it's did. Gay hate people, crime. probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Anyways, Bahanish <laughs> is like one of those guys, and his jokes were like, "Yeah, I just found out that uh, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I forget what the setup is even. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, I got different heritages myself. My feet are from Iran." My oh, arms are from no. Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember he had one joke where it didn't even make any sense. The punchline was just like, "That's a cantaloupe, you dizzy broad." <laughs> I'm hanging out at the grocery store the other day in the produce section, and this lady comes up and says to the guy behind the counter, "Wow, these will fit right in with my diet program: low cow apples." That's when I interrupted her. I said, those are local apples, you dizzy broad. <laughs> local. <laughs> yeah, and he was like just such a fucking airhead. He always had that dumb smile on his face. Hell yeah. That guy's probably happy. His dude. job was doing like tape backup for Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> <laughs> He's like worked in the basement and like in the just... file room? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like moving tapes around. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that shit's gonna be fucking obsolete as hell. Yeah. Yeah, we're going up the deep creek this weekend, man. It's gonna be a good ass time. You should come, brother. Oh, dude, it's about time we go back to Baltimore. Just try and get on the 98 Rock. Yeah. Stop. Let's stop this. Let's stop I don't all know. this. The sun's been coming into my apartment. And that's been making me feel okay about being. Yeah. 
No. Sunlight is important. Sunlight no, dude, important. we're getting a little two bedroom in Glen Burnie, and we're gonna be the fucking afternoon. We live together. We live together <laughs> in Glen Burnie, <laughs> yeah, and, we, yeah, and, we, and we get the afternoon drive time <laughs> sh- shift. We, you, you ever see those guys with like fucking Ben O'Brien was still living with his ex girlfriend? He had those like house painters over that yeah. week. Those two guys. Those that, guys were awesome. That like fucking had the same haircut since high school. <laughs> yeah, they were just boys. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> painted, got <laughs> drunk, lived together. They're forty years old. Yeah. That's the <laughs> those dream, guys were dude. awesome. Those guys rocked. Hadn't even considered their life being a fucking failure in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> too stupid. Just the fellas. Literally like fucking nineteen eighty five Mario and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> just like painting houses wearing the dumb outfit. <laughs> yep. That stupid like mid eighties bowl haircut. This is awesome, dude. Yeah. On old ass men. <laughs> just, yeah. just hanging out. <laughs> just living together in a two bedroom. <laughs> somewhere in Hamden, probably. Yeah, just fucking like the highlight of the week is going to karaoke at a sports bar. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get pussy from some fat just like from, secretary. Dude, do you remember Greg Pahanish? I don't. Greg Bayanish is one of those guys. He ran the open mic at uh, like Felicitas in Rockville. Oh yeah, I never made it. Out. I never made it out there. Felicitas. It was like, uh, and it was so funny because there was like no one at that bar. It was this giant space above a parking garage. Oh god! And it was like an Italian restaurant, but it was mostly the floor was like set up as like a dance hall. Oh yeah. And then there was a bar, and then they put like a couple of dining room table or like <laughs> dinner table, you know, tables, restaurant yeah. tables at Ooh. the end of the fucking. Uh, the dance hall floor, but they were doing open mic there. And Greg Pahanish, did you do you know who Pahanish? No, is? I never met him. He's like just yeah, he's like a guy that's like fucking probably graduated high school in 1980 or mm-hmm. 1981. Respect. And he's like, this is the look, brother. <laughs> oh, you've talked to me about this guy before. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. But you know, it's, he would host every week. Yep, the open mic to nobody, and then do the same jokes. He's like. Yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh, uh, but I'm I'm actually from all over. My no, sorry, he's like. Uh, my arms are from Pittsburgh. Oh no! My, my feet are from Iran. Uh, oh my uh, god! You know, but he knew the jokes were bad. Yeah, His yeah, goal yeah. was to be annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he didn't give a shit. You'd be yeah. like, Greg, this is fucking dog shit. And it's, it's week after week, he's like, "All right, man." All right, brother. And he like didn't care. Yeah, He'd just drive around in this fucking like 1986 Dodge Dynasty, dude. The purest and then, thing, and then try to get pussy from like just Respect. these women in the. And I remember one time we were all like smoking weed in the garage. Me and him and another guy, and he just like went and got his dick sucked like twenty feet away by like a forty-two-year-old woman. <laughs> just a bar in his fly. car. He's like, he said they didn't say anything. They just went over to his car, got in, and he got his dick sucked, and then he came back out all high. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking rocks. That dude. rules. I'm going back. What Fuck a this. cool guy. Fuck this, dude. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try show business two more years, mm-hmm. and then I'm running an open mic in Baltimore and just getting top. Yeah, getting bad quality top. I'm gonna try to get a job in the Buttigieg administration. Yeah, on April yeah. Fool's one year. You are year, gay. Yeah, on April that Fool's one year, I told, I sent an email out that was like, "Greg, hey everyone, uh, Greg Bahanis, uh, um, his family reached out to me, and he a combination of uh, sleep apnea and lifelong." Uh, sleep apnea and lifelong alcoholism. He died in his sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like 17 at the time. But like, I was one of the only people that actually like really knew or hung out with Ben Yeah. Hash. And then all of these comics in DC were like, I can't believe this. They were like devastated. Yeah. <laughs> all these people were upset. And they were like mad at me. Yeah, of course they would be mad at you. Yeah, they were like mad at me. I'm like, it's a joke. <laughs> April, no one thought, oh, it's April Fools. Yeah. Well, you know, to be honest with you, my thing was like, I got to do April Fools a couple of days before that way sure. people don't know. Right. Uh, I Just would always do it not... around. I couldn't wait. <laughs> it is funny how much you love April Fools. Dude. I love April Fools. You're a little prankster. Remember this year I told guys that I wasn't doing the podcast? Yes. Yeah. So I was new, and I got dude. mad. Adam I was freaked like, out. And started Adam was calling freaking me. out, dude. <laughs> We're supposed to be friends. <laughs> Can we talk about this? I was already thinking about my no, new I life, said, dude. All I said was, I wish we would have been able to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Greg Payne is rock because he was like just like an '80s guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then like, <clears throat> you know, yeah, him, he was just like I would go with him, and then this other guy that did karaoke. Yeah, dude. And yeah, his whole life was like. Yeah, I remember one time he like came, he came by, and he was like. Like, uh, like started talking to my high school sweetheart on MySpace, and guess what? 
She's divorced. <laughs> Dude, MySpace was a boon for those guys. Oh, yeah. Facebook, They're still on my those head. guys, those guys are going through the fucking divorced heap, dude, like yeah. nobody's business. Yeah, yeah. He's like, guess what? She's divorced. He had like a cabin in like Deep Creek Lake that he would just go up to. The king. Yeah, to fucking like drink beer and smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> dude, no joke. Everyone's like, yeah, we're the high school bullies now. I'll tell you where they're happy. Yeah. They, they're the right. ones that always they're win. In Deep Creek Lake getting their dick sucked in a Dodge Dynasty. Yeah, there's someone... By a woman who's divorced. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Guess, a woman whose life was so much worse for the last hey, 30 years. Hey, guess what, brother? She's divorced. <laughs> <laughs> and his day job was so funny. He did, like, tape back up for Kaiser Permanente. Yep. Like, something like, there's no way this is going to be a job. And in even, it shouldn't be a job now. Yeah. I do magnetic tape back up for a healthcare provider. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. His job is just completely replaced with one USB stick. <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna, let me see if I can find his like videos. Cause it's, and I want to make it clear, too, if, to any of the fucking retards that listen to this show. <laughs> yes. They think this is like somebody you should bully. It's or not. He's, we like him more than you. We like him more than it's you. It's not even close. Yeah. This is not. He's just because he's happy. Yeah, and you aren't. Yeah, and you never will be. And we aren't either. But but we have. But thank you for paying us. Yeah, he had this like they're not paying public You're access right. show. Right. Thank you to the people who are paying. Those yeah. people are. He happy. had this public access show. Um, <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude! Yeah, this guy rocks. <laughs> oh, I love him. I really do. Yeah. Oh, he looks great. Been too. listening to some tapes here. <laughs> Kind of looks like okay. So the bit is, hey man, I'm just listening to some tapes here, and he's got duct tape on his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> hey man, I've just been listening to some tapes here. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, all right, you, you up, want man. it, you got it. With that being the introduction, once again, my guest co host, Stevie Ray Band. Hey. Hey. My guest K Hayes. Thank you. I got something for this audience, man. These guys are some rowdy people, and if this this doesn't work, because it's all tangled up, I hate this fuck bag. Oh, that's all right. We can bleep it. Bleep it, Larry. Oh, shit. You guys get. We can bleep it. He's like, don't worry about it. And then Greg's like, watch this. And he just turns the camera and he goes, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> He's great. Yeah. Dude, does, did he write a book? Yeah, he wrote a book. Comedy, <laughs> comedy sickness. <laughs> I'm about to buy that bitch, yeah, dude. Yeah, Greg ruled. Fuck, what's he up to these days? I, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, the, I think that restaurant eventually closed down. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, he was a guy that just wanted to have a good time. Really? In the most basic way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll tell you something. On the back of this book, he does not look as good as he looked in that <laughs> in that video, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he, he's much older. This is probably from 20 years ago, this yeah. video. Oh, man. I hate this act, <laughs> I hate this act, Do it. Okay. I hate it. Let's oh. see. This is... Uh... This collection of this humor is, uh, includes some of his best stand-up bits arranged into poetry form. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Hell yeah, dude. Everyone go out and buy Comedy Sickness on Amazon. Yeah. It's sixteen forty eight. We can buy it used for five ninety eight. That's not bad. Very funny, Joel Schubert of the Daily Sun. Not your average poetry book. It's good. David Plowman of the Arizona Star. This bloke is crazy, funny. Edward Jenkins, the English journals. I mean, that seems like he made all those up. The English journals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he made all those up. Yeah. The, the Daily Sun. Star. <laughs> None of that, yeah. Arizona Star is a real newspaper, I think. <laughs> What's the Daily Sun? My dick. Because it rises every day and you start sucking it like the sun. Like you suck the sun's rays. That's how you suck my dick's skin. There's the sun. And then there's like the daily whatever. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if there's a daily sun. Who knows, bro? Dave. Um, daily star. Scottish sun. Mm. Anyways. A man who has been in movies, television, radio, live on stage, in newspapers, and now an author. He attended broadcasting. What a good guy. Everyone go out and buy this. Let's make this a number one New York Times bestseller. 
You can also catch him singing and or DJing at various karaoke bars. Hell Respect. Yeah. Damn, I'm trying to get some fucking pussy Bahana style, dude. I'm trying to hang out with my boys, smoke weed, step out for a second to get mm. top, and then come back immediately. That's a very... <laughs> Dude, honestly, it's like his shit fucking. That's the awesome. Yeah. That's the dream. Dude. Yeah, the setup. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's like that's those those house painter guys reminded me so much yeah. of fucking Behanish. Those dudes that were like, I guess they're just like Gen X, but like, you know, like yeah, I I don't know what you know, like that somebody that just had a good time, good ass time, but it's not attached to anything. The the absence of worry is what's awesome. Yeah. Uh-huh. You just keep chugging, keep trucking. Who gives a fuck? We'll figure it out. Right? Yeah. No, I just want to smoke weed and have my daily access prop comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> Got the cabin up in Deep Creek, man. <laughs> you know what? What's I that? wanted to show you, man. I I did something to my elbow. What you do? Check it out, man. Uh-huh. Look. Oh, geez. <laughs> no, I think yeah. that's uh, <laughs> that's tennis elbow. You've and been I, playing with too many balls. And I uh, yeah. That's, uh, Smell my mustache. No, man. thank Smell you. That's, my that's mustache. Sweater. I'll take your word for 